What's up everybody, it's Alex from Everything for iPod. I'm here on my Mac in Mountain Lion, and there's a few things every time I do a fresh install, or just a few features and options that I like to enable when I first boot up my Mac, and I think a lot of you will like this. So I have four things that I like to do. Um, some of them are new, some of them are old, but I just like to do them because it makes your Mac easier to use. So uh, Probably a few of them, well there's only four, but uh, maybe two of them you might have known and some of them you may not have, but let's get into it. Probably will be a pretty short video. The first one is how to display your hard disks, and I know that a lot of you probably know this and already have this, but it's a really simple one. How to display your hard disks and flash drives on your desktop, because by default it's not there. So basically all you have to do is make sure Finder is selected, and then go into Preferences, and just check off the little hard disks box, and that will put your hard disks on. You can also do external disks, so this is something like a flash drive or a hard drive you can enable. Um, you can also have it show CDs, DVDs, and iPods, and connected servers. I'm just going to leave it on hard disks. And something else is also in Finder, when you first open Finder, where it puts you at. And I like mine to default to Macintosh hard drive. So instead of it opening all my files, which I never really use, it's going to open up to Macintosh hard drive. So those are the two from Finder that I like. Uh, another one actually from Finder is you can see that they removed this in Lion too, but you might not know how to get it back. The little bar down at the bottom that shows you how much hard drive space you have left, you can get that back just by going to View and then Show Status Bar, and it'll tell you how many items you have in the specific folder and that I have 219.96 gigabytes available. So that's a great thing I like to always show the status bar. Um, now I'm going to go into System Preferences for the next one and into Trackpad. This was also something in Lion, and I do not like the natural scroll, uh, scroll direction that Apple implemented in Lion, so because I upgraded to Mountain Lion, it automatically put that back on, so I like to remove that. And then the last thing, you may or may not know this, depending on how long you've had Mountain Lion for, but if you go to Apple, uh, the Apple menu and software update, you can see that software update is now not a standalone app. It's in Mac App Store in updates. It will update all of your software from there, which I have to say I really like, but there's a feature that Apple added that I don't like. So if you go into system preferences and then into software update, you can see that they added this feature that download newly available updates in the background automatically. So I do not like that. Even though I update all my apps, I like to read through the update log and see what they've actually changed. Because if there's a bug I want to that I am aware of, I want to know if they fix it in that update or if they didn't fix it yet. So I like to leave that unchecked. That's a new feature in Mountain Lion that I do not really like. I love that software updates is in the App Store, but I do not like that it automatically does it, so I go ahead and disable that. Uh, those are just some quick tips on how to, you know, make your Mac easier to use and some new features in Mountain Lion. Thanks for watching, guys. All of my social links are down in, this, uh, down in the description. Please stay subscribed so you don't miss out on anything. That's it for now. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you in my next one.